Hey everyone, take a look at this 2023 Ford Bronco four-door in the Badlands package. This one is in eruption green metallic, has all kinds of upgrades. Let's check it out together. Under the hood is the 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine. That is the upgraded engine for this model. Tons and tons of power. It's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission for silky smooth shifts. You also have these LED set it and forget it headlights, including auto high beam. LED fog lights to go with those. You see front park sensors in the bumper there. That lets you know if you're getting too close to something in the garage. Recovery tow hooks up front. Also has a forward facing camera in with the Bronco logos with a little spray nozzle so it can clean itself off on the trail, which is awesome. Vehicle also has a forward collision system with pedestrian detection. So if somebody stops last minute, you don't have time to put on the brakes, it'll do that for you. This vehicle also has a nice accessory holder up front. Anywhere you see these torque screws is a place that you can put an accessory for the Ford Bronco on these, which is nice. Big fender flares there. These fender flares are quick connect, so you can actually just clip them off nice and easy if you're doing some off-roading. You see these upgraded Badlands wheels and tires. One of my favorite, BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2 tires, great for summer and winter. Has the Haas suspension system, a bit more clearance on the Badlands as well. You see that Badlands deco there, Looks awesome with the eruption green. You do have the protected rock sliders underneath as well, which is fantastic. And on our mirrors, they do have the signal light inside. They are a power heated mirror with a blind spot system in them. So that lights up when someone's in your blind spot. This mirror also has a camera underneath. So we have a camera in or both mirrors in the front and the back. And if you take a look here to get in or out of this vehicle has the door entry pad system. So you can just put our pad in to unlock. You can also just put your hand inside the door handle to sense the heat from my hands and unlock. Press this button to lock it. Or we have this uh, fob right here with unlock, lock, remote start and alarm. Or we can download the Ford Pass app and do that anywhere in the world for free. Thank you Ford. Tinted windows look great. Does have the soft top on here, being able to turn it into a convertible. As we open up our back doors, you get your first look at this Badlands interior. This is the Lux package, giving you all the upgrades of the mid, the high, and of course the upgraded Lux items. Love the little yellow touches inside. Again, go great with the green. Accent stitching on here. My green grade vinyl seats, easy to wipe down. In the back, you can see your power window switches as well as your USB and inverted power supply. Uh, Molly, uh, Molly strapping in the back to be able to hang things on. Nice netting in here. Then these doors are removable um, so you can go down the road with uh, all the freedom you want. As we come to the back, rear park sensors make it nice and easy to park as does that backup camera. Another one of those nice BF Goodrich KO2s right off the back here. It says the upgraded hitch in the back so you can pull something and you've got your seven pin and, and four pin in there. You've got recovery hooks on both sides of the bumper. And then if we open up the back here, swing this open you'll see you have all kinds of cargo space back here too which is really nice you do have these tie down hooks nice little easter eggs having the last who's put in there and then you've got a subwoofer and that's thanks to the upgraded stereo system in the lux package let's go to the front and check out some of those features open up the driver's door uh, controls are very simple on the door as these can come off just your power locks and your door handle some other so that nice strapping uh, you do have again that really nice accenting inside and a grab handle to get in and out of the vehicle um, you've got your power um, automatic headlights here with your fog lamp so you can set it and forget it into your dimmer switches there's lights underneath the mirrors that you can control from here as well then you have your emergency brake and your hood release then you have these 10-way adjustable, super comfortable seats. Love the Bronco inlaid in them, and they are heated. Let's climb inside. All right, now that we're inside the vehicle, let's go ahead and hit this push button start. Gonna fire everything up. Bang and Olsen stereo system, and you can see the little symbol for that there. You also have a center channel speaker. We've got a little place to mount a GoPro and another USB to power it. Then up top here, you've got a bunch of switches. This is for your front axle disconnect, front and rear lockers, trail turn assist, so you can actually turn really tight on a trail, uh, your traction control and four-way flashers. Uh, we've got this big screen in here and then we've got a steering wheel and we've got a screen up top. So the screen up top gives us all kind of readouts, including a digital speedometer, which is nice. And on the steering wheel itself, because it's the Lux package, you do get adaptive cruise control, so it'll slow down with the vehicle in front of you. We also have volume controls here, nice Bronco on the steering wheel. We've got controls for that display up top, voice controls and phone controls, all your stereo controls. Now this leather wrapped steering wheel is heated, feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning, I like that. 
This big 12 inch screen display has got all kinds of features inside of it for your satellite radio, Bluetooth streaming. If you go into the features menu here, you can even turn on zone lighting, um, which we can basically turn the whole outside of this into one big LED flashlight, which is nice and handy. You can pick whichever zones we want to light up or do them all at once. This also has the new Sync 4 with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which means that all your apps from your phone, like your podcast, your Spotify, your books, even the GPS maps on your phone, everything comes up on here. It does have a modem connected as well, and it can even update software th through the modem and give updates to your dealership if you have any uh, type of concern or anything. Down below, we do have volume controls for our stereo. If we hit this button, this is our camera button, so we can see all around the vehicle in front of us. Press this one, we can see just directly in front of us or a bird's eye view of a split view, which is nice. This is engine auto off. Turn our park sensors on or off. Stereo controls, dual climate control for my side, my passenger side with a nice little digital readout. Heated steering wheel and heated seats. Nice fan switch control and an auto mode. Down here, we do have USB and USB-C, which is all sealed up tight for water. This is a wireless charging pad, nice place to put your phone. Uh, your 10-speed automatic transmission shifter, if you do shift to a manual mode, you can go up and down through the gears just using the plus and the minus. Cup holders here. Then we do have this switch, which has our two high, four high, four low, and four automatic, as well as trail control. So automatic is set and forget it. Trail control is so we can set the speed limit to go really slow with one pedal drive goat modes if we turn this dial and look in here you'll see some different modes so it can be a normal eco slippery mud and ruts sand baja or rock crawl and those are all the different four-wheel drive settings and traction control settings just depends on the terrain that you're going into or the engine parameter settings uh, then we've got controls in the middle here. Why are the controls in the middle? Because the doors can come off. So we have auto windows for all four windows and our power mirror controls, a lockable console with a 12 volt in there. This just sits in the bottom and then this can actually hook up on top if you want. Come up top, you have an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror, some map lights, auxiliary switches for any type of auxiliary uh, things you want to put on like lights on the outside or anything like that. And then we have up top garage door openers. That is this beautiful 2023 Badlands Edition four-door Bronco. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do me a huge favor, click subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I make a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up.